If you're sending multiple emails every single week, your subscribers may want to dial back their inbox. Um, giving them the option within your email template is the best way to do that, right? You don't want people to unsubscribe, especially if they're getting value from them. And if they are getting value from your emails, you don't want to push them out because you're sending too many emails, at least as far as they're concerned, right? So the best way to do that is right next to the unsubscribe link at the bottom of your email footers is to give them the option to dial it back to say a weekly email only. I'm gonna show you how to set this up. There's a number of steps here, uh, four to be exact. So the first thing that you're going to do is create two tags. So I call it, I give a tag named email frequency all and email frequency weekly. Now I've gone ahead and created both of these tags. You can see email frequency all and email frequency weekly. The second thing we want to do is create rules, two rules in fact. Basically when one is applied, the other one is removed, okay? So when tag all is added, right? So email all, is added, we want to remove weekly. And then we want to do the reverse. And this ensures that people do not get uh, the wrong frequency, right? So weekly, we want to remove the all tag, okay? So when one is clicked, the other is removed, and so that we ensure that we're giving them the preference that they're looking for, okay? So that's step number two. Step number three is getting the trigger link. So we're going to create the link that goes in the bottom of our email template that applies the weekly tag. So you need to do that by going into a, a test broadcast and Basically, what we're going to do here is build the link using ConvertKit's trigger ID to apply the tag. Sounds complicated. Let me just walk you through this. So what we're going to put in the bottom is basically too many emails. Click here to get the weekly version. Okay. And then we're going to just highlight this and send them off to something. It's a page on my website that basically has a headline saying, you know, thanks, your preference has been saved. Then you want to apply that weekly tag to the subscriber when they click this link. And when we click apply and then go ahead and preview, we're going to actually be able to then get the trigger ID for this action. If you highlight it and then go to inspect, that's going to give you the code. So it's giving you this preview convert kit uh, mail to, right? So you're going to want to change that to the page that I referenced, okay? But instead, really what matters here is this trigger hyphen ID attribute and this number, okay? So what I typically like to do is I like to go ahead and edit as HTML and copy all the way to target, okay? And that's gonna give me the information that I'm looking for. Now, once you're done with this, you can delete this by going up, up to the, the right and the three dots and click on delete, okay? The final step of this process is going into the email templates. Now, Depending on your email template, you might have a starting point or a classic version, and these two are, work in the same way. Or you've got an HTML template that you wanna add this to, and I'll show you what that does. But let's start with the starting point or classic first. And what you're going to come into is creating right by the um, unsubscribe link and your footer down here, is you're going to add an HTML block. Once in there, you're gonna click on there and you're going to add the 
the, the link, the code that you just copied. And now I would change this to the link that I want it to send to. Thanks for sharing. And close that. And then I would say click here because that's what's going to be linked and close out the link for the weekly version. Okay. And then too many emails. Okay. And so now we've got this. Now I'm just going to copy this whole thing because in the HTML version, I'm going to show you where to drop this in. Okay. So you can see that this actually falls underneath this one. It happens to be in this template. If I wanted, I want to remove, I want to move that ahead of the unsubscribe because basically the thought here is, is that if you send them two, three, seven emails in a week, they're like, oh, this is too much. I'm just going to unsubscribe. Oh, there's an option here. Now I can click. Okay. And then click on save. Now, if I go into the HTML version, you're going to see HTML code. So now what I'm looking for here is really unsubscribe, right? So want out of the loop and drop in that same HTML that I've copied. Now, if this is what you've copied so far, then you're going to just like I did before, prefix this, close this one off and then add click here and then close the link for the weekly version. Okay. And then click save. And then we could preview this layout. Oops. Uh, preview layout. And then we can see it in the bottom here. Too many emails click here for the weekly version. Now, when somebody clicks on that link, they will get applied the weekly tag. And then, you know, you're not going to send them every single email. You're only going to send them the weekly version. The bonus step here to make your life easier. I like to create segments and send emails to segments, especially if I'm going to keep doing it. Right? So what I would typically do is I would create a weekly segment where it includes both of those tags, because if you remember, we are, when somebody gets the weekly tag applied, we're removing the all tag. We have to account for both of them. And then the only other thing here that I would consider is if you have a welcome sequence or pitch sequences, if you follow suit with some of the other things that I've built and shown you, then you're going to want to essentially exclude the D and D or the do not disturb tag, which gets applied in the important sequences so that we're not distracting them with our broadcasts. Okay. So this would be the weekly email frequency, all email frequency weekly. And then we're going to do the reverse, right? So all, and we're going to just subscribe to the all tag. Okay. Because remember, we're not including weekly and those that have the all tag will not have the weekly tag. Okay. And then finally, I'm just going to make sure I'm not disrupting any important sequences here by excluding the D and D tag. And now I have two segments that anytime I write an email, I can send to either the all or the weekly. And I know I'm sending it based on the preferences of my subscribers. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know, drop it in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer them.